Dan Urschel and his wife Jolene had purchased special effort on the eve of the Kansas Futurity, the first of the major Futurities at Riadosa Downs. The flashy Sorrel had the fastest qualifying time and they were impressed enough to lay down $1 million for him. At the time, it was a gamble, paying the highest price ever for an American quarter horse in training. You bought him for a million? Yeah. Uh, you say that like I, it's kind of hard to say. Uh, <laughs> it's not so bad now, but, uh, you know, if he hadn't run, that would have been, I guess, a very large mistake. Special Effort won the Kansas Futurity with a time of 18.13 seconds. And that win was making the Urschel's gamble look like amazing foresight. The Colts' next conquest was the Rainbow Futurity, winning the elimination and time trials by a combined six lengths. He won the final by a length and a half, running in front the whole way. By the time the All-American Futurity rolled around, Special Effort was syndicated for $15 million. The Urschels gambled again, selling 150 breeding shares, retaining 50 for themselves, along with controlling ownership. Special Effort did not disappoint investors. The race was held in a driving rain on a sloppy track, but Special Effort made it look effortless, winning by three and a quarter lengths. Special Effort did what no other two-year-old has ever done, won Rio Dosa Downs' coveted Triple Crown, the Kansas, Rainbow, and All-American Futurities. He also set the fastest qualifying times for each of the three races. He became the sport's second millionaire after High Easter Jet, though Special Effort accomplished the feat as a freshman in only nine undefeated races and was crowned 1981 world champion and champion two-year-old Colt. Special Effort continued to win at three. He took his undefeated streak to 13, including the Kansas Derby, before finally placing third in the 1982 All-American Derby. It was his last race and only defeat. He retired with 13 wins from 14 starts, more than $1.2 million in earnings, and as champion three-year-old Colt. Special effort stood in 1983 at the Urschel's Three Bar D Ranch in Canadian, Texas. His first few crops produced champions Bully Bullion and Easy Go Effort, and 1987 All-American Futurity winner Elan's Special, among others. In 1988, the horse ended up at the Lazy E Ranch in Guthrie, Oklahoma, and remained there until 1993, when the Four Sixes Ranch made a big return to quarter horse racing, and Special Effort went to the ranch in Guthrie, Texas. Special Effort continued to sire top horses throughout his career, including world champion Special Leader and champions Special Project, Sweet and Special, and Special Phoebe. He also sired the late Strawfly Special, himself the sire of two All-American Futurity winners. And breeders can't get enough of his daughters. They include such individuals as Genuine Knockout, Such an Easy Effort, Tiny's Effort, and Miss O'Toole. Dam of 2000 All-American Futurity winner, Isa Special. Special Effort died in March 2006 at age 27 and is buried at the Four Sixes Ranch. He sired 1,830 foals from 24 crops. Of his 1,416 starters, 73 are stakes winners and six are champions. 64% of his starters were winners and 73% earned registers of merit. As of the end of 2007, he's the fourth all-time leading sire of winners and 10th all-time by earners. And as a broodmare sire, he is fourth on the all-time list by both earnings and winners with more than $18.5 million. The Urschel's gamble certainly paid off, and tonight, Special Effort becomes a well-deserved member of the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame.